Hi, welcome to the Air Manager API tutorial video series. In this video we're going to uh, carry on um, from some of the previous videos and look at a Flight Sim X um, prepared um, data subscribes and writing and events and we're going to have a quick look at Aerosoft FS2 as well although that is very limited at this stage. So let's dive straight in. I'm on the uh, wiki API page as uh, usual um, so we're going to tackle uh, these functions here um, for FSX and prepared and Aerosoft FS2 these ones here you'll see the um, commands are very very similar and I've got some examples of the, the previous ones that um, we covered uh, with X-Plane just to show how similar these functions are to the X-Plane functions that we've already covered in uh, some level of detail so let's bring up the um, the example code, uh, if you like. Um, so we're going to start by just looking at the subscribe. So you can see um, here I've got three um, different subscribes, and I've just sort of listed the explain one just as an example of uh, a previous video um, series that we did on the uh, explain subscribes. But just to show how similar the um, the um, command structure is uh, in terms of the FSX prepared and, and FS2 um, command structure. So you can see here with the data ref subscribe, we would have had to have listed the data ref and then the type of the uh, data ref and then uh, a callback. And as I showed previously, you can do multiples or one, ones of these with a callback. That still applies to FSX and prepared. Um, if you if you want to have a look at how to do those multiple ones, you can go back and look at the uh, the explain data ref um, subscribe video, and uh, that will that will show you um, how to do that. And it's fairly straightforward. So they're just there in, as an example then, and then so for the FSX one, you can see that the the command is very similar, except for uh, in FSX they don't call them data refs; they refer to them as variables. So the command is called FSX variable subscribe. Um, but again, same structure. The name of the um, variable in the case of FSX and prepared, uh, in this particular case, uh, an EGT for um, engine number one. And now the, the other thing to note about these, when you go on and look at the uh, FSX um, variables, you can get this uh, little mention of an index and this number here is just to just to denote what the index is I'll show you that in a, in a moment when I show you where the source of that information is um, the the um, the type of the um, the variable or in the effort in the case of FSX a lot of the time this is the unit so uh, this particular one uh, is the temperature here in uh, ranking units uh, and then the name of the callback so in this particular case I've called it FSX callback um, and you can see on the explain one I called it explain callback I'll explain um, why I've done that in a minute and then just quickly going down to the FS2 uh, message you can see again the structure is very similar this time it's called FS2 and they call it message not variable so a little confusing between data ref variable and message but essentially they're the same thing um, FS2 message subscribe um, and here they uh, this particular one is called aircraft altitude it's of the float type and I'm going to call back uh, a callback uh, function called FS2 callback which is up here so just look at looking at back at them in reverse order then in terms of the callback functions the FS2 callback function will just literally return this altitude which is uh, what we've given the variable name here again very similar to the FS uh, the, the explain examples that we did previously and this very simply just uh, prints that altitude um, out in this function but you can do whatever you want with that piece of uh, data and use it to you know drive your needle etc in the FSX example um, we return this uh, exhaust gas temperature so I've called it EGT um, and in this particular case um, uh, this just gives a little example and, and just going back to the explain one you can see I've done the same here with the EGT and I'm print what that EGT is so 
the reason I've done this is just to show you that in a lot of gauges where you want uh, functionality for different sims you can make them um, work with FSX and X-Plane but you need to subscribe to both of them the um, the different sims set of data for the for um, a common thing so in this case it's EGT this is the X-Plane variant of that uh, it just so happens that EGT is given in C but in the FSX example it's given in in um, the ranking uh, temperature unit so what we need to do there is we need to convert between one and the other the other difference is of course uh, with X-Plane is a, with a lot of the engine related parameters they're of the array type so you can see this is a, a float array with eight elements in it uh, whereas this is only a single element uh, you would have to subscribe to uh, a different index so that might have a 2 in it for instance for the uh, EGT for the um, second engine so what we do here is we we if when uh, and each one of these callbacks will only work when you are actually connected to that sim because it can't get any if you're connected to FSX it can't get any uh, data back out of X-Plane because X-Plane is not running so this subscribe uh, the X-Plane subscribe just simply uh, wouldn't do anything so it's not doing any harm being in the code here it just sits there if you were to want to run uh, the air manager um, instrument with X-Plane then this would work and the FSX one would just sit there dormant and not do anything so in this particular case then it calls the um, FSX callback uh, here and then what we do is we convert from ranking to Celsius which is this little uh, formula in here and we also um, convert um, the the callback um, data value into an array type so essentially we've created an array here with the curly brackets here and we've created eight elements which is what uh, this particular thing so uh, and then we call the x-plane callback uh, so essentially we call the x-plane uh, function so for FSX it's gonna when it gets the new piece of information it's going to jump to here do this and then it's going to jump to the explain one so you can see how um, that you can use the same whatever the this is just printing but you can use the same um, functionality within the explain callback and you just first of all call the FX one do whatever you need to do um, to the data and then send it on it might just be that you send it on straight uh, you don't have to do anything to it because it's it's correctly formatted but in this particular case we've got to convert from rank into Celsius and we've also got to turn it into an array type so you can see in this array in the very first location here we're converting from rank into Celsius with the value that we get from uh, FSX and then we're populating the other seven locations with zeros so when uh, we call the x-plane callback uh, it gets its uh, array um, data ref that is expecting with uh, the eight elements in there and then it simply prints the first element of that so there you see we've got the uh, number one in there uh, to say that that's what we want so let's go ahead and run that code um, within the sim uh, let's get the sim up first of all there we go that might be useful so we're going to go ahead and run uh, the instrument and you can see that print statement that we've got print in here um, just continually updates the EGT temperature in C as it says and it's converted the um, let's have a look at um, there we go so the number that we're getting from the sim is 771 uh, ranking and converted into C is 156 so you can see as we um, as we increase the RPM a little bit here um, the number here is uh, is going up that's just a snapshot in time uh, which is why that value is not changing there we go okay so that's um, essentially the subscribes working in a very simplistic way and, and um, the FS2 example um, obviously would work it, it in a similar way um, to the to the explain um, examples that we've previously demonstrated in the videos so let's go back to the code um, now we've talked about the subscribes and we'll scroll down to the next little section here where I want to talk about the uh, the writing um, to those um, FSX and FS2 um, I was going to call them data refs then but they're not data refs to the uh, variable in the case of FSX and prepared and to the message uh, in the case of 
prepare 3D. Oh, just one other thing very quickly uh, to go back and talk about before we jump onto that. Uh, the the data ref subscribes. Um, we've got the uh, actual sim ones here, but you can see just below them, I've got them um, commented out here. Um, you can also use the very generic variable subscribers I've spoke about previously with the X-Plane. You just need to put which sim the data is coming from. So at the beginning here, you can see X-Plane, FSX, FS2. And then it's the same information as you use in the uh, the individual subscribes. I just prefer to use the variable subscribes. It just gets me in the habit of using that one. Uh, a lot of the instruments and gauges that um, I develop are to work with uh, multiple sims. So I just find using that particular variable subscriber and then putting in X-Plane or FSX um, easier to use than the, than the individual ones. But it's up to you really. Both work equally as well. Okay, so back onto the um, the writes then. So there's an example of the X-Plane data ref write, which again we've previously covered in a video series. Fairly straightforward. The name, the type, and then the particular piece of uh, information that you want to write. And then in so in the example of the uh, FSX here, I had that commented out um, just while we were doing the previous example, and for FS2 in fact. Um, you can see two examples of, of writes here. So in the case of FS2, it, it's called message, as we've, as we've discussed. This particular one is changing the, the view offset. Um, you can see here, um, you require this um, flag setting, which is this, this uh, thing here. There's different types of this. Um, and then the type and the value, uh, exactly the same uh, as the other example there. Um, and so for FSX, again, very similar. Um, the name of the uh, variable that you want to write to. So this particular one is called flaps handle index. Um, the type that it is, well, it's just a number because it's just an index number and I'm just gonna uh, send it an index of two. So because I've uncommented that now, we'll save that and we'll rerun the instrument again here. And because we've, Whoops, what's happening here? There we go. Okay, so um, what if you watch the f uh, flap handle, and when we run this instrument now, it should send that uh, index of two. So you can see it's dropped down, boom, boom, two positions of the uh, of the flap handle there, just as a, a once right, and so you could use that to. Uh, uh, Update that flap handle position, or or any other uh, uh, ones of the uh, of the uh, particular rights. Now, while we're on here, it's imp it's probably uh, a good idea for me to just show you, if you if you don't already know, um, that um, we had a look at the explain data refs and commands, and so the equivalent ones of those um, for FSX and prepared, um, and I'll show the uh, where the FS2 ones are in a moment for the variables and the events are here. If you click, just click those buttons, it takes you to uh, a page where you can find all of the um, FSX related uh, variables and it tells you if they're writable or not in this uh, right hand column and, and the units easy. Um, we might even be able to find our EGT one that we were just um, uh, there we go. So um, yeah, a lot of the yeah, the engine uh, related ones here, and you can see um, where they refer to this this index here after the uh, colon. Um, so that index basically refers to a number, um, as in and as in the case of the engine ones, like a one or a two, depending on if it's your first engine or the the second engine. And you can get the um, you get the information for the particular engine that you're interested in. So that's how the index is referred to and then the uh, event IDs that other button within uh, air manager um, some here um, events it's the same as uh, this page here event IDs it basically brings you to here and this just gives you a, a list of the events that you can call fairly self-explanatory about what they do there's lots of different ones for flicking switches and doing various other actions within the cockpit so that's the source of those. Um, the FS2 uh, messages, um, if you search on the forum uh, for FS2, you'll find Ralph has posted uh, a link to um, this page here. 
which is um, a resource for all of the FS2 uh, messages. So you can, a bit like with the X-Plane tool, you can um, search uh, up the top here and you can find all of the, the different um, messages that are available uh, for FS2. So just going back to our very last um, code example then, um, we're going to talk about uh, events. Now FS2 doesn't have events as such, all of that is covered within its uh, message system, so you either read from the message or you, you write to the message, the ones that can be written to, but just as within it, X-Plane where it has data refs and commands, FSX has the variables um, which is generally used for reading information back out of the uh, sim, although I've just showed an example of how you can also write to it with the flap handle index example. Um, but it also has uh, the events, which is what we just looked at on the page there. So uh, lots of um, um, interactions with uh, items in the cockpit there. And I've got one set up here, which will uncomment just to give an example of how you use it. Very, very simple, um, a bit like the X-Plane command um, um, that we looked at in a previous video. FSX event um, essentially is the same as that command and so all you do is you just list the name of the event that you want to uh, action. In this particular case it's called Toggle Avionics Master. So now we've uncommented that, if we save that, that will just simply every time we run the instrument, because I've only called it once in the line of code there. Um, where are we? Yeah. So if you just look at the um, the avionics switch here and you'll see the, the avionics that are powered by that avionics switch, when we um, run the instrument again, it will just toggle it. So there you go, it's turned it off and all the, in the avionics has gone off and when we run it again, this time it's turned it on and all the avionics is on. So every time you run the instrument, it just runs that com that um, event once and tells the sim to action um, the toggling of the avionics master and th there's a big long list of those and you can um, choose which ones you need to uh, operate particular elements uh, of a panel. So just to conclude then very quickly um, there we go we've covered um, the equivalent of the uh, the X-Plane um, data ref subscribe and write in in so much as the subscribes there and the writes for for both fsx prepared and uh, fs2 and then we have um the x plane command um which uh, is the equivalent of um the um fsx event which we've also covered and i did also um just uh, remind the about the variable subscribe which is the generic way of um subscribing to your uh, variables um, instead of using the sim specific one, um, you put the source of uh, which simulator you want to use at the very beginning, as in X-Plane FSX. Um, and you'll see that how we can use that um, variable subscribe uh, again later, because one of the other sources that you can use is an air manager instru into instrument um, variable that you can create and uh, subscribe to, which is uh, a topic for a later video. So thank you um, for tuning in again and um, watch this space for some more. Thank you very much. Bye.